Hey, good morning, Pipe Community. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, it's rainy and cold here in uh, in Louisiana this morning. In North Louisiana, anyway, it's uh, dreary and um, about 52 degrees and it's supposed to get down to 37, which may, if it gets that low, it'll set a record for us here. Just <laughs> May the 2nd and <laughs> having some 30 degree weather tonight. Tomorrow's only supposed to be up in the 60s. So mid 60s so i don't know if i'm going fishing or not i just the older i get the less i can take the cold out there and if it's if it's not 64 or 5 i'm not, i ain't going but uh i'm gonna review uh, a brand that i got the other day from uh, ma's called brand x and i'm gonna smoke it in this uh corn cob i think this is a patriot i'm not 100 percent sure but i think this is a missouri meerschaum patriot bent a little softy on it and not that it needed it this is a little old, these little pipes not about nine dollars so but i just like the softy on them i've gotten used to them like i say said the other day i fought them a long time and didn't hated them but i've gotten used to them now and i'm drinking some um uh community hotel blend that's my favorite blend of the communities they've got breakfast blend they've got um Cafe, something they've got some, uh, you know, exotic blends. Then they've got, you know, the the dark roast. They've got they've got several blends. This is an all around. It's 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 not a super strong coffee, but it's certainly not weak either. Breakfast blend is a little weaker. This is right in the middle of the road, and, and I like it. If you've got access to any community coffee where you're at, it's made here in Louisiana. Or they're they're from Louisiana. I don't know where they're getting the coffee beans, but they. They're bagging it in Louisiana, so uh, all our stores around here sell it, and you can grind your own beans at most of the stores here, too, but I, I buy it already ground. <coughs> but uh, good coffee. Try it out sometime. <clears throat> Just bump this computer and, computer, and they'll be telling me I, they detected a little shakiness in it, and do they want to? Uh, do I want them to fix that? And and I hadn't had good luck with them fixing it. It usually turns out worse. But uh, <clears throat> I got this Brand X the other day uh, when I got the Cajun Queen in Wall Street and the, that old Blackberry Brandy. And uh, I had never tried it before, and I tried a sample bowl over there, and it was pretty good. Did leave a little aftertaste, and I, but I didn't ask ask them what was in it. You know what it, I usually like to find out what what kind of blends is in there, what tobaccos, what you know what it's represents, and um, so I, I I called over there the other day and asked them. I said, well, you know what what is this? And Billy told me he said, well, it is a Balkan Burley, and um, this is the first Balkan to my knowledge that I've ever smoked. And um, I can't hardly feel any heat through this bowl. A little, not just. So I would say it's a, you know, it's uh, it smokes not hot, fairly cool. It's um, it's a it's a medium, not a full body, but it's a medium. Room note on a scale of one to five, five being the best, one being trash, I'm going to say three, probably. Um, it, uh, let me show you all some of it there. Uh, I'd be dog if it don't look like it's got some Virginia in it, too, but who knows? He said Burley and Balkan. So. And he's the expert, certainly not me. But um, I'm going to, it has a slight aftertaste in it, and that may be a characteristic of a Balkan. It can be a characteristic of a, of a Burley, straight Burley, but I've not ever noticed in the Burley lights and stuff that I smoke. And um, some others, I, I haven't noticed this particular aftertaste. It's not unpleasant, 
it, not unpleasant, but it's uh, it's there. On a scale of one to five, overall, five being great, one being trash, and it's got to be at least a. Uh, for me to keep it, it's, I would say it's got to be a three and a half uh, for me to keep it on hand, and I'm going to give it a three and a half. Uh, like I say, that's my first go with the Balkan, and I might try some others. You know, I know uh, Alan Woods, like, you know, is a, is a big Balkan fan. Uh, Balkan fan. I, I will try some other Balkans. I'm not going to rush right out just as soon as I'm out of this and go be sure I've got some more like the IQ or uh, Ralph's Mix, Black Bayou, uh, Orlick, and uh, Triple Play, and Jackknife Plug, and some of those, when I get to a certain point, before I run out, I'm going to try to have some more here. I wouldn't go as so far as to say that with this one, but it'll be one of those, if I'm out, when I go over there, I'll pick up a couple ounces and keep decanted. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all right. Um, I was going to use my tamper, my little tamper with a chain on it that Nathan Campbell sent me up. But mysteriously, I can't find it this morning. And yesterday, last night, and I wasn't looking for that one. I was looking for the burgundy one. And uh, my little six-year-old girl, Emily, has a bad habit of running off with my tampers. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, don't know what she does with them. She, it's, it's in the course of her playing with her dolls. I don't know what that tamper represents to their, their little doll game, but I probably, if I go look in her doll house, I'll find them. But I asked her, I said, have you seen my tamper? I called her Pookie. And I said, Pookie, have you seen my tamper? And she said, uh, uh, the purple one. She calls the burgundy one purple. She said, the purple one. And, and, uh, you know, I hadn't seen it in a couple of days. And I said, yeah. And she said, no, I hadn't seen it, but she said, I might can find it. Well, it slipped my mind last night, and I didn't think any more of it. So I was looking for the uh, the little green one. Couldn't find it. Now I know why she specifically asked. Cause she's little toots got both of them. <laughs> when I pick her up from school this evening, I'll get her to see if she can retrieve them for me. But and she'll find them. This is not the first time that I've had to send her for my tampers. And like I say, I don't know what. What they, what she uses them for, but when she'll have eight or ten little old doll, Barbie dolls out and playing Barbies, and and that's when she plays with them. They're they're, uh, you know, I don't know what they represent to her, what she's pretending they are, but they they, uh, <laughs> I'll get them. Uh, picked up a couple of uh, little old crankbaits, and I don't normally buy the bomber brand, as y'all know, I'm a Bandit guy. I like the Bandit brand, but I picked up a couple of bombers. Uh, they're Tennessee Shad, and this, I just like the, the, the shape and the little scales of this one. Uh, so I can shake it around there a little, let you see it. Oh, hopefully I can get it to flop over, but I like the shape of the little scales, and like I say, I don't normally buy the Bomber brand, and, and Root Beer, and of course, is, is an old color. This color's been around for a long time, and, uh, it's an old school color, and it's very. Both of these are very successful. I do very well with all of them, and both of them are very. Good baits come highly recommended from a lot of old fishermen, and like I say, the root beer's been around a long time. And I've got uh, root beer, two different root beer colors in the Bandit, but this one is a root beer float. They they call theirs root beer float, but it's I don't know if you can see it in this or not, but it's got some. It's got some green fleck in it, so I bought it. I'm a, I may go tomorrow, I may not, but I do have a tournament coming up this not tomorrow Saturday, but next, and um, south of here about 30 miles. And I'm bad need to catch up on the points uh, rankings. Uh, bad bad need a good Saturday, so uh, we're gonna I'm, I'm 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 gonna try some new things. So and I normally don't try new things in a tournament. I try to stick with what I know, but. I may pull out the punches this time, but 
Anyhow, I'm going to wrap it up, get this video downloaded, and I may go do a little work. I kind of decided to take the day off, but I may, may go in after all. But we'll catch up with you next time. God bless.